Okay, so I finally had time to get my uh, rep strap DC motor with quadrature encoder control board uh, partially wired, at least enough that I can start testing it. As you'll see, there's the, uh, the Teensy 3.1 in the middle, if I can get it to focus. And then over on the left hand side is the Adafruit Motor Shield V2. Uh, I'm going to be basing my design on that. It uses a uh, an LED driver, actually a 16 channel uh, PWM LED driver, and then a couple of FET H bridges to uh, to drive four separate DC motors. Down here you'll also see there's a uh, Pololu stepper motor driver for the extruder, and then down here there are a series of connectors for the various uh, X, Y, Z1, Z2 quadrature encoders as well as the um, end stops. Now on the bottom here uh, is not yet wired up is the bed heater and thermistor and the uh, the extruder heater and thermistor. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to plug in some power here and I have a very simple test uh, just to ramp up the uh, the DC motor and display it on the LCD display and then ramp it back down. Uh, it's stolen from the Adafruit's DC motor test 2 and I've just basically modified it to uh, uh, allow for the I2C LCD display and the change of the uh, wire library for I2C. Uh, there's a new library for the Teen C that uh, the old I2C library doesn't work. Anyway, enough talking. There's your display. And again, really and truly, all this is doing is showing that the I2C, I2C signals are working for both the display and the motor driver. Uh, nothing else. So I don't have anything else up and functional on this one yet. I will be borrowing the rest of my library over from the... Uh, Arduino Pro Minis, but anyway, that's that. We are now confident that the wiring is functional. Thank you.